Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back. What did I do here? Hold on. What's... Is it... The... Control? What did I... Uh, what did that do? Hold on. Pause it. Ah, there it goes. Okay, okay, I had the, the little thing. If you hold Shift F5, it'll do, like, frames per second physics rendering and stuff like that. And I completely forgot that, because I haven't played this in, like, forever. Good evening, everyone! Welcome back. To Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, if you can't tell, I have a new microphone. All right, it is the the Blue Yeti because I um, don't know any others. So, anyhow, what are we doing today? I want to start playing again, but if I keep playing on this base, um, it's not going to be anything new. So, I figured I'd come out here and actually, you know what? Let's just start a new base. That actually sounds amazing. Somebody chat? Some chat. Can I build that? Code? Sure. I was about to unload and start anew. Yes, you may. You can visit, absolutely. Uh, I do have my voice chat thingy on, which I don't think I'm going to keep that on. I've been fighting a little bit of a cold. And uh, a lot of people are going to be like, Code, where you been? What are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. I've not been recording. I should start recording again. I want to start recording again. And in fact, that was the purpose of this um, little exercise, to start programming and uh, see what I can do. Hi, buddy. Hey. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> okay, you're like jumping way too much. There you go. Hi, site. What's up, bud? Uh, Mr. YouTube site 4212. I hear somebody else walking around. Is there somebody else walking? Did you did you see somebody? Hold on. Somebody's around here. I hear them. Where are they at? Oh, maybe they're over there. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, let's unload. Unloading. Let's go find a base to actually start. Not that. Unmute all. Unmute all. I can't unmute all. It's not time yet. We're not done. Um, okay, let's kill that. Let's go menu. Load. Now, if I remember right, base 2 is my drivable... Um, wait, it's the ice, ice rink, right? Hold on. I don't even remember what 2 is. Uh, a lot of you may have remembered me from, like, long ago. It's only been a couple of couple of weeks couple of months <gasps> Ooh, has it been like two months <sighs> I know I haven't recorded since grandpa's been here and I know grandpa's uh, finally moved out yes so lots of things have been going on and uh, my biggest worry has been watching the um, world and that is a scary thing the world that we live in though like everything that's going on in the world mm -mm -mm. no 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 Oh, it's, so this is my ice base. This is the one that if I put it on, not this slot, that slot right there, then I can drive to Palm. So that's that's not the other one that I wanted either. Hi, buddy. What did he? He left. All right. Bye, bud. All right. Oh, um, let's go number three. Let's see what we have got for number three. Oh, by the way, um, I am growing my hair out. So hopefully it'll be like super long eventually, but. And the goatee, you know. I don't know. It's a new style. I like it. I might have to change my, uh, if, if I keep doing YouTube, I'll have to change my, uh, my icon. That'd be weird. Mm. I do that on Twitter every once in a while. Is this, this is the base that we were working on, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. I don't even remember what we were doing on this base. This is the one I was, I was like, I'm going to promise to only play this and you know what? Select this base. We're doing this base. That's that's an easy base to do. And it gives me, like, start area. So a lot of you um, that play Lumber Tycoon 2, if you've uh, uh, gotten all of... Uh, gotten... 
For those of you that play Lumber Tycoon 2, if you've noticed, um, the exploiters slash hackers slash whatever you want to call them, the people who are not playing by the rules, let's do that. Let's say the people who don't play by the rules, because there's this big debate about whether or not somebody who uses exploits as a hacker and if they're hacking or not. Put it this way. If you downloaded a program and you downloaded a script and you put those two together and then you used it on Roblox to do some kind of interface thing that pops up so you can do a cheat, you are not a hacker. And I will never call you a hacker until you can explain to me exactly what that program's doing and give an example of how you would program it yourself. Then I might give you the title, but until then you're, you're just a cheater. No offense. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, big offense. I, I want to make a big offense to that. <laughs> uh, no. No offenses. You know what? People get offended all the time. I am offended by what you said. Fine. Be offended. <laughs> People in the world... I don't know. What was I doing again? Oh, we were just, like, stacking up the space, right? No, I was going to start a completely new base. But... I've already started on this base. And we have people... Oh, I've already done things to this base. What was this? This was a giveaway, wasn't it? Oh, this is my book giveaway. Oh my gosh, my nose is disgusting. <coughs> Better? <laughs> Just human. It's a human thing to do. The candy canes. Man, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Playing code, you're playing. Well, um, let's do this. Let's go and get every tree and make a place for it. Okay. So what do we got here? This is um, I don't know what that is. It looks like birch. End times cherry might be walnut. It's walnut. Could be cherry. I don't know. That's cherry. And that is sinister. No, that's not sinister. That is spookwood. So. I must have had somebody drop off some spook wood, or I found some spook wood. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. You know what? Nothing of the past. We're gonna do new. We're brand new. All right, we're gonna get in this car. We're not getting in this car. We're going to unload this car. And we're actually just gonna play, you know? That's something that I haven't done in Lumber Tycoon 2 in a while, is just play. I wanna make sure that all my wood's stacked in here. Get this in here. There you go, body. End times wood. If you guys don't know how to get the end times wood, go watch one of my old videos. <laughs> uh, and you're, you're going to need an ostrich eye to, to get down below. Man. Uh, I want to apologize for not recording, but at the same time, I don't want to apologize. Like, I feel like you guys deserve an apology for not recording, but not really. Um, I'm sure you hear it all the time, and you see YouTubers, like, uh, explaining the burnout process. Yeah, that's pretty much happened. I got burnout really fast. I did not want to record. And, in fact, like, right now, I'm, like, I could be playing video games or taking a shower, getting ready for bed. I could be doing something else at this particular point in time. But, being here, I think I've missed. I've missed talking, recording, and I think I figured something out. I think by recording, I'm actually helping myself by talking about my day, by talking about my feelings, my, my thoughts on the world. Which is good. That's a good thing. Right? Should be a good thing. Oh, oh, oh. Get in there. Oh, no. It fell down. Alright. Hold on. The cool thing that I see about this, about the the game, right, is just being able to be in 3D, like be an avatar, and control your character. This right here, what I'm doing, I'm moving with my left hand. A character that's inside a three-dimensional space and then with my right hand <laughs> which one is it it's the right hand uh, and then with my right hand I control the camera itself the zoom and the clicky clicks so like being able to interact in this world um, with a controller 
Wait, what piece of wood is this? Is this? What is this? Hey, hold on. Put that off to the side for a second. Ooh, a ball. Yay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't have a fence over there to stop it. <gasps> Get back here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop, please. No. <laughs> Dang thing. Ugh. I'm definitely going to need a place for the ball. Maybe if I just throw it inside and then close the door. That, uh, that'll work. No, 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 no. Uh, jump. Get in. There it goes. Close the door. Hehe, <laughs> you're trapped. Okay. Oh, I forgot coffee. Uh, should I go get coffee? I should probably have some coffee, but nah, I don't need coffee like right now. Uh, this is icewood, and we have not created an icewood bin. Oh, lucky me. So let's go. Wow, that is a small interface. Is everybody else's interface that small? That is a tiny interface. All right, we'll do a large floor. Large floor on the floor. Is there a gap in there? Yeah, there's a gap. Large floor on the floor. And we do a rotate turn. And we're going to go right up. Oh, wait. No, I just need, yeah, just three. This one. And then if I do a rotate, I can do this one here. What's it be? Did I get that right? Yeah, I got that right. Good deal. All right. Mm -hmm. Chop, chop, chop. There we go. Oh, 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 I fell down. I fell down again. There we go. Um, huh. so, um, how many of you are actually in high school now that started in middle school when you first watched me? Because that's, you know, if you're in high school now and you're still listening to my advice from when you were like in middle school, <laughs> awesome. I hope it's helped you. Uh, if not, <laughs> sorry. If you're brand new to this channel, uh, you'll figure out real quick, um, it's not really about the Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2 gameplay, it's more about talking. Just talking in general. And there we go. Oh gosh. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. So the thing that I kind of started figuring out, right? I love science. I love physics. I love chemistry. I love the sciences. And I love math, right? But here's the thing. I started figuring out that uh, the reason I'm really good at code and programming is because I like breaking down functionally how things work. I mean, that's that's my inner hacker. That's the one that wants to do the, the code for the curiosity of it, not just to get it done. Like, a lot of people nowadays, they just want things to work. Just, just work, right? Just, that's why people scream at their cell phones. Like, give it a second. That cell phone's gotta travel to like space and back. And you're worried because TikTok lagged for a second. Hang on, okay? Well, here's the thing. Growing up, I had what was called a modem. So a lot of you tech gurus and stuff are gonna be like, oh, I know what a modem is. Um, modem stands for modulation demodulation. And what does that mean? That means it would take it from a tone to a dig digit, a, a sound. Like, it would take it from analog, like boo, 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 to uh, ones and zeros. That's, that's what it means. It's a modulator demodulator. Turns it into computer code. It takes it from sound, turns it into code. And that's how computers would talk. And that's how computers still talk to this day. Well, kind of. They don't do it over the phone lines. Uh, I mean, they do, but it's not phone lines. It's network cables. So we went from RJ45s to... Um, is it RJ45? RJ65? RJ45? <gasps> I have forgotten the name of the plugs that we use. There's one that has four, and then there's one that has eight. The eight is a Cat5 cable. But I don't know if it uses RJ45s. RJ8s? I don't know. Man. Anyhow, the point being, networks are what we use to communicate. Wi-Fi's. You, you might be like, oh, it's a Wi-Fi, 
right? Um, this is the weird thing. I understand the difference between cellular and Wi-Fi uh, versus like DSL and telephone versus coax. I mean, there's all these different terminologies that I could use and say and everything else. People, I don't think, realize that Wi-Fi and cellular are two separate things that these awesome devices can do, right? Your cell phone, right, it uses cellular all the time. When you go into uh, Facebook, right, and you're not near a Wi-Fi, like you're, say you're out in the middle of the desert or you're in the middle of the ocean, all right, and you're not near a Wi-Fi, and somebody else isn't like sharing their Wi-Fi. Man, it's really hard to explain. The cellular signals off your phone will go to cell towers, which can be super far away. Whereas a Wi-Fi has to be somewhere local. There has to be this thing called an AP or an access point. In my house, I've got my own little Wi-Fi. It's called an access point and it talks and I even have a relay at the other end of the house. So it, they both talk together and that's how we communicate through our phones to like Facebook. And that's, that's the normal thing to do. Right. But that's just like a computer jumping on to uh, a Wi-Fi or a laptop or a Chromebook. Right. All the same signal. When you do cellular, it's no longer talking inside this house. I'm literally going from my phone to a cell tower that is somewhere close. And that's when I, it gets transferred into data and, and goes out to the Internet. But not till then. Right. It's. I don't know. Hmm. I'm, I may have taken way too long explaining the differences in between cellular and that, but that's fine. Uh, what was it doing? I, I need oak. I need regular, good old fashioned oak tree. Hey, buddy. Woo. -hoo. Choppy chop. Bam. Drop it like a tall. Oh, no. Dropped it out the front. There we go. Oh, spin. I forgot the physics in this thing. Oh, and I forgot. I also have like a weird rotate. Q and E work with shift. Mm hmm. That's a new feature. Well, it was, was a new feature. What, like six months ago? <laughs> oh, code. Oh. <clears throat> if you were having a bad day today, I hope you don't. I hope you don't have a bad day ever like bad days suck okay and everybody can agree with that but i don't want you to not know how to handle it all right here's the thing bad and good it doesn't matter it happened you existed the experience is there and it's now part of your life so whether you had a good day or a bad day i'm glad that you had a day today and better yet, thank you. Thank you for being here and watching this just because you're here. Uh, I know, that does sound weird. Code's gone crazy. No, it's not. It's, it's more of the fact that I've been watching these TikToks with like re-vintaged footage from 1803 and it shows like people walking out in Holland or Germany and it's these old restored videos of horse and buggies and people existing back then right they don't know who I am they don't know who a hundred years before them who those people were it's just the experience of being human and living at the time that they were in. The fact that we have footage of it and can watch it, oh, that is amazing and awesome to me. Oh, and a lot of people are getting all upset about AI. AI is going to take over. AI is the end of the world. No, no, I'm sorry. We're not that good. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. We're good. All right. Humans are amazing at figuring this stuff out, making things happen, invention, innovation. But it's not going to take over the world. And here's the problem. Herein lies a big problem, okay? From hackers, like the hacker community, we're going to use the tool too. 
And just because somebody else put a policy and a restriction in place doesn't mean that a hacker is not going to come back in and unrestrict that policy. So this fear of AI taking over, right? Everybody's like, well, there's going to be the three laws. Well, that's great. The three laws or the three protocols are still created by a human and can be broken by a human. So there's no laws. I mean, any way you slice this, any time in all of history, in any scenario, and you can call me out on this in the comments if you'd like, there is an inherent risk with security, okay? And here's why. You made security, it can be unmade. However you got there can be undone. There's, it, it's simply reverse engineering and time. Give people time and they will figure it out. So, not to fear, all right? Don't freak out and be like, oh no, God said that the AI is taking over the world. No, I'm saying there is an absolute risk and possibility to it. Do I think it's going to happen? No. I think we're going to use it as a tool. A tool for what, you say? A tool for everything pretty much like i feel like our society if we're going to get off this planet right get into the future go beyond to mars or whatever you want to call it wow here's like all kinds of messed up we're not going to be able to get there ourselves okay and here's why earth is a fishbowl for humans there's no oxygen out there I mean, there are oxygen in the universe, but think about it. If you get into space, you need protection against the radiation that's going to be out there, uh, protection against the heat and the colds, and it's it's going to be both because on one side you got like plus 230-something degrees and negative 200-something degrees on the dark side. So what if we had an AI android go there and do that? This is what I see. I see humans turning AI into a tool to be used for our our survival slash yeah, for our survival. I mean, everything that we've made up until this point is for our survival and entertainment. I mean, let's be honest. There's some of those uh, things from the Useless Duck Company or the is it Useless Duck? I don't know. I don't, they they make cool products. <sighs> like the self-tilting hat that's like milady. <laughs> uh, best. Somebody should recreate that as a Roblox uh, RDC. No, Roblox R something. Oh, and speaking of RDC, like there was some stuff in the news. I, I don't know if it's well, like what's going on with the totality of it but I mean I'm not going to be the one to be like oh this happened but apparently something happened at RDC and the awards ceremony got stopped I don't know I've just been watching it on Twitter the last couple of hours but anyhow again I'm not going to get into it if you want to know about that go to Twitter but now I have an oak stack Amazing. The cool thing about this game, about Lumber Tycoon 2, is that you can just sit here and talk about random things all the time while playing the game and just relax. <sighs> Sometimes it's intense, like when you're going up the mountain and you get to the volcano. But here's the thing. Violence on TV, right? It's rampant it's all around us war is happening i mean you guys see ukraine and russia and all the stuff that's on tv and trump and biden both of them getting impeached and their his son's doing this and they're doing that like trials and re-jurisdictions really really 2023 like can, can we worry about, like, the asteroids hitting? They were supposed to hit, was it, like, 2016 or something like that? Is it near-miss? Or something blowing up over Russia? 
I don't know. It feels like a lot is happening and not a lot of people know what to do about it or how to process it. It feels like the world is in chaos. And yet, I don't think it's changed. Or at least not a, not a whole lot. All right. Um, do we have an elm tree? I don't, I don't know that we have an elm tree. I got five minutes left to keep talking and playing lumber. So let's go find an elm. We'll get an elm. Bring, is that? I don't know what that is. Not elm. Hold on. Wait, did I just see an elm? Oh, yeah, that is an elm. <laughs> Sounded a little bit like Squidward right there. <laughs> this is Patrick. <laughs> SpongeBob reference. Oh my gosh. The amount of SpongeBob references and memes um, from the wiki group, oh gosh, would have been years ago. Uh, that's one thing I kind of miss about the old wiki chat. Shwoom. Whoa. That was a long throw. Back, back, back it up. Boom. I haven't seen Blobby around in a while. I haven't even talked to Blobby in a while. <sighs> I should probably talk to Blobby. All right. Smack. Wee. Where'd it go? <laughs> uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'm glad that the physics still work on this. Like the rotationals. Get my car down there. And then I'll throw the tree down there. Oh, 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 hold on. You are stuck, aren't you? There we go. Zoom! We're just going to throw this on in. And boom! Uh, there you go. I don't remember what I was doing with this uh, fence line. I was trying to protect the base, but don't know if I need to anymore. I mean, there, there's probably going to be some trolls in the future if I continue to record and stuff, but that's fine. I'll just make it random. Random when I record. Or if I need to, I can jump into the private servers again. Mm. That was not me farting, I promise. It was my chair. Can you guys hear me okay? I think you can hear me. Is the desktop audio okay? I'll have to rewatch this. Um, if you haven't noticed, I don't edit. There's no cuts, there's no quicks, there's no... It's all straight recording. And I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. Well, maybe. Maybe I'll do it. I might I might edit some shorts or some TikToks, but when it comes to my Lumber Tycoon 2 gameplays, yeah. No recording or no editing needed. Is this thing just like falling down or what? Come on. There it goes. Silly goose. Alright, we just need one, right? One should get everything we need. Oh, in you go. In you in to go. Ooh. He. Oh no! Ooh. Blockage. There it goes. Oh no, I had it by one by ones. <gasps> We're gonna have a long plank, aren't we? I can't cut it yet. Dang it. Is this the same? This is the same same, right? I had long planks before. Yeah, you're same. Okay. So, this is choppy chop here. There we go. I'll just take this with me. And... Oh, was I making the one by one over here? What was I doing with this? Is this one by ones? Oh, it is. Okay. Let's just go ahead and push this all the way to one edge. Let's just turn this on. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I don't think that's how that was supposed to work, but that's 
that's fine. I, I can I can see the lag being a problem here. Oh, I, I'm oh, I've got one minute. All right, that's fine. Let's do rotate turn. And there's one turn. And oh gosh, I gotta get this lined up. Come on, on top and two, rotate three. I think is that good? Oh, buddy. All right. There's one. There's two. Joink. Let's get the ones that are not fully cut. There we go. And then we can do this one. Zoink. And this one. Zoop. There it goes. And the rest of these, we can just chuck these over here. These are, these are fine. We can throw these away. I'm good. I just needed a bin. Boop. Um. For all you introverts out there who don't like talking to people. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to talk to people. Here's the thing. Um, and I hate to say this, but I loved quarantine. I liked not talking pe to people. I liked wearing my mask. I liked just working from home, which I still do. I still work from home, but I just, I don't know. I felt more connected to people <laughs> when everybody was wearing a mask and not talking to each other. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's just... And apparently there's a new variant, a couple new variants out there of the Coronas. Do we still call it the Coronas? I don't know. The coronavirus. What was the other name for it? Corona. Which doesn't, isn't a coronavirus, isn't it like a type of virus? A coronavirus? I don't know. I think SARS was a... I mean, SARS is like staph infection or something, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. But uh, whether or not you like, here's the thing. I know that horrible things happened during the pandemic and during the lockdowns, all right? People were dying. People were getting sick. Lots of people dying, all right? And that's not what my statement's about. I, I did not like that we got a coronavirus, that we got a pandemic and stuff. I was simply stating the fact that I liked staying home and not interacting with people. I found that my extroverted ways um, are introvertedly charged, meaning I'm a, I, I'm better by myself, and I thrive in environments where there's lots of people. I mean, I can be a social butterfly, but one of the reasons I can be a social butterfly is because I've learned to mask my ADHD so well that. It's, I don't know, it, it, it's different. Um, whenever I was in high school, here's something I remember back. Um, freshman year, we had the homecoming freshman mixer, right? Because you were a freshman. You're, you, your first dance was like three days into school where the seniors and the juniors would welcome the freshmen. And it was a dance, right? It's called the freshman mixer or something like that. I took magic tricks with me because I was an awkward kid. <laughs> and the way that I could get conversation started was by showing a magic trick. And I learned magic ever since I was three. Why did I learn magic? Because I was a weird kid. So. Do I still do magic to this day? Yeah, I do. Steven. Do I do magic? Yeah, yeah. Steven knows. Oh, speaking of which, I, uh... Used OpenAI 
and created a session called Steven. <laughs> so I now have a session in OpenAI. Tell me somebody else just saw that, right? The magic ice stick here thing that I just, I tapped it and it like organized everything like boop and is like pew, fixed. That was awesome. Okay. All right, magic stick. You're going to stay right there. <laughs> oh man, we have fun. Anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Hask with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Um, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun, I hope. I'll be able to tell if you had fun because you'll hit that like button. That, that, that's not true. Nobody can tell if you hit the like button. In fact, it's completely like arbitrary to what actually happens. So a lot of people forget to hit the like button. But if you like uh, videos of Roblox where there's no editing, I mean, that's I do that. So you could you could subscribe for that if that's your reasoning or because you like my hair, you know, either way. Love you guys very much. Have a great night and I hope to see you soon. <sighs> Outro. That, that didn't sound right. Outro. Does that sound better? Outro.